So let's now see how this uh, series connection is uh, made with this uh, cable, this is the plug, and these are the two outlets for the two different consumers which you want to put in series. These are Italian type. So what you see here, you see here the, the cable of the plug. So yes, the current, the voltage, it's uh, is on the on the blue and on the brown. The blue goes to this user, to this consumer, and uh, turns back. And then the brown is here going to the other consumer, and then it's turning back to the main cable. So that means that the current is actually going first to the one consumer, and then to the other consumers, and then it goes back. And usually it uh, goes just in one consumer and it goes back. So then you have the full voltage is on one consumer, but now the, the whole voltage is uh, shared between two consumers. That's, that's how you build this. Uh, you have, of course, to take care that uh, all the connections are good, that, uh, these, that these clamps are well done, are well connected, so that if you pull here, uh, it will not pull here. And uh, also you have always uh, uh, to uh, to check that uh, these connections are really well done. In this uh, case, the earth connection is going only to, to one. Uh, it would be more correct to connect this also to this one. So this is the situation with the fan in the lowest stand, the lowest speed, and the reading is 14.2 watts. You hear it also, it's making quite some noise. Now compare with this. Now the combination of this fan and this lamp is working in series. So what happens is that the current from this meter is going to the combination of these two outlets and and on the outlet is as well the ventilator the fan and the lamp and the current goes first through one and then through the other and what is the reading it's 13.7 so it's less than with only the fan so you have less performance of the fan but it is what you want uh, and you have also the lamp and here I show the performance of the lamp. So it could be very well uh, light in the night, so that you can uh, find your way. And of course, also in this situation, you can still control the speed. Put it in position one, and then in position two, a little, little bit more air, and now in position three, and you see the result. For the consumption, that means that you have now nearly 20 watts for both of them. You should take the lamp with the same power or a little bit more than the fan. I took actually a halogen lamp of only 30 watts for my fan at maximum speed takes 40 watts. When you take a stronger lamp then your fan will turn faster. You can also put a countdown timer. Then you will set a time, for example the time it takes you to, to fall asleep and then it will switch off. And that's another act of energy saving. The other kind of serious connection is when you make a combination of two fans. You could use this, for example, to have uh, two different individual breezes in a sleeping room for you and your partner. I recommend that you take for this two fans of the same type or at least of the same power. And then you can put them in series and you can try with each of the fans with the different speeds what the result is. So I will show that to you now. I switch one of the two on and both are at one, at a low speed. Consumption is 16 watts for the combination. Please hear the sound. Now I put this fan on the highest speed. And now both of them at maximum speed. We are now at 
23 watts. Hear the sound? Okay. So the first way was to do this uh, speed reduction with a series connection. Now the second way is to, that you just put a transformer between the normal grid and your fan. As you know, a transformer will also give a perfect sine wave to the fan, so there will be no problem. I looked at Amazon for transformers from 230 volts to 110 volt. I saw some, uh, quite some negative reviews, but if you want to try it, in the description I give a transformer with the right power uh, to, to handle this fan. A fan will nearly always function with this uh, 110 volt. I tried it even at 100 volt because I have a variable transformer. And if you then put the fan at the maximum speed, for example in number 3, position 3, then you will be certain that this fan will work. As I said, this experiment was successful, so you can take that fixed voltage transformer. But if you want this variable transformer, then you can buy it for about 60 euro. But the power of this transformer is five times as much as this fixed transformer. So you can also use it for other experiments. For example, you want to try uh, lamps or uh, motors, or maybe you want just uh, to test um, a new device which you found that you don't know the voltage, you don't know if it's uh, broken, and then you want to just try it, test it, with uh, starting with a low voltage. And then this device can be useful for you. Because otherwise, this uh, transformer, this variable transformer, is of course uh, more, uh, it costs more than your fan itself. If you would now like to know how this uh, thing, this transformer works, I bought uh, this uh, open device and I had to build a box uh, around it. It's uh, at least uh, two and a half uh, kilowatt because I used it to uh, charge my uh, former uh, Audi Electric 100. There were three of them in the world and um, I had in some way to, to charge them uh, also a little bit uh, quicker than the onboard uh, charger. It is a transformer with a coil and I can touch it because there's no current on it. Uh, this is really a contact and it's just a coil which goes in this way. The windings go in this way and here is a, a kind of a carbon piece uh, which goes over this contact, so it's the carbon makes contact with the coils. Uh, you start here at uh, zero voltage or maybe 10 volt or so, so it's not uh, one, uh, it's not a two coil transformer as usually, but it's only one coil. And you take the voltage, the variable voltage of this single coil. And that's a nice sine wave. And uh, if the full voltage is between this and let's say this one, then if you put this on the last winding, then you get more than 230 volts. So if you measure, you get 240, uh, 240 volts.